Welcome to Krokozuna Productions in conjunction with Koyokai Kendo Club. Budanshan level matches are very difficult to judge and to watch. I believe that this is due to the fact that the participants are simply not ready to compete. In this video, we will take a brief look at how Koyokai Mudansha are prepared to compete. Steve Walker joined Koyokai in 2018 having already started Kendo in New Jersey. He trains three to four times a week and is very diligent with his commitment to fundamentals and repetition. He won two major Mudansha championships in 2019 and was runner up in another. In this video, Steve is the red player. Open strong, makes the first attack. You'll notice he doesn't back down. Koyokai the Mudansha are told to not back up unless absolutely necessary or unless executing a move. So territorially, he has already dominated this matchup. He's going to throw men in volumes because he practices that a lot and is fit enough to do so. You might think, well, he doesn't do much kote or do at all, but he is very capable of it. He just won't use them unless necessary when he can just be successful with men attacks. Obviously I need to teach him wakare, well, which I did. But this is a common mistake the Mudansha make. They don't understand wakare. See a lot of extension. Great Fumikomi on his men attacks. So as the viewer, you probably think it's just a matter of time. A weaker attack as the opponent backed up. Still standing his ground. Trying to find his range. Not allowing a point to push him, and there he connects with one of his men. Looks like he was smacked in the eardrum. Found his range. Excellent men attack. And wins the match. This next match is the finals of the Mudansha tournament at Cleveland. He is the player in white this time and he uncharacteristically gives up the opening attacks. However, he stays calm, keeps moving forward, stands his ground, weathering the opponent's storm. Steve trains enough to know that he needs to find his range. There he comes close, so does the opponent. Neither score. Another exchange, neither of them score. Steve is staying calm. That was very close. It probably might have scored, but the judges didn't think so. Very calm in his defense, not trying to overdo things. Not being able to attack from his range, buying his time, and there he finally gets it. Good men attack, good Fumikomi, good Kikentai. Just like in the previous match, finds his range takes advantage. Good victory. Ryan Kelly joined Koyokai in 2017, one of the hardest working and most attentive students ever at Koyokai. His efforts have not yet translated into too many breakthroughs. He has won some medals, but I think 2020 will be big for him. Sean Kelly started in 2017 with brother Ryan at the age of 15 and is a young hopeful. He has won a major Mudansha championship in 2019 and shocked the federation by winning the high school age championship in 2019 as well against much more experienced players. 
Unfortunately, in this match, the brothers have to face each other. Ryan is white, Sean is red. You can already tell Ryan has the much stronger spirit. Both of them are moving well. They know each other. Sean can definitely throw that man, but Ryan was ready to counter. Again, they know each other, but you can see for two Mudansha, they're very... The Kamaias are very solid. Footwork is decent. And best of all, they, they're very aware of their space or distance. One can almost say they're too far. Sean is trying to throw Kote attacks because he's probably thinking that's not what Ryan expects. There he displays that raw, young power behind his men. Ryan's a very smart player. There he attacked. A little bit too far, but he had good Fumikomi. Often not seen at this level. Sean threw a Hikiman, good Kikentai. Also not often seen at this level. Very cautious. Ryan's throwing good attacks, but just doesn't have the range that Sean does. Sean showed you again that he can definitely throw a man. As I watched this match, I really was very impressed with both of them. As they display every aspect, spirit, footwork, distance, fundamentals. The duel was so-so, but once again, Ryan's trying something to try to break through against an opponent that is very strong and that really knows him well. Sean showing commitment to that Kote, which he normally doesn't have to. Good Hikiman attack. Got a little bit over anxious. Went out of bounds. It's okay though. Going out of bounds in those situations, there's no shame in. Especially once again at this level. Sean is the type of person I never really even taught Fumikomi to. He was just able to do it all of a sudden without my even realizing. You can see that both of them are definitely very athletic. Time runs out. They go into overtime or intro. Neither has decided to get very aggressive yet. Again, uncharacteristically, Sean's throwing back with there. Tough match when neither of them wants to back down, as they're both trained not to do. Ryan actually tried a Gyakudo there, reaching into the bag of tricks at this point. Good footwork, good positioning. Ryan's spirit is putting more pressure, but it's Sean who triggers the attack. Really, this is an excellent Mudansha level match. Strong Fumikomi from both of them, refusing to back down. Oh, but it ends on such a so-so quote.
Although the ending of that previous match was anticlimactic, I just wanted to highlight that these guys really train hard, they're fit, and they do some really strong kendo at the Mudansha level. The keys to their success, basics, basics, and more basics. They must be able to strike men, kote, and do, otherwise, you know, they're at a dead end. Repetitions. You need reps at the gym to build muscle. Same as in kendo, you need reps to build muscle memory. Keeping it simple, why do a lot of wazas when all wazas end in basics? A strike has to be made, so unless you really know how to strike, there's really no point in advancing yourselves too far. And as you saw in all these matches, forward motion. Do not develop a habit of retreat. So thank you for watching this video. I hope this helps in uh, developing and training future kendo players and uh, Please make sure to like this video and subscribe. Thank you.